Hello, I'm Carl Luck, and I have the privilege of being the current chairman of the Lunenburg Sewer Commission. While I still have your full attention, I'd like to thank Joe McLaughlin and John Dextres here at the Lunenburg Public Access for their help in reaching out to you. Today I would like to share with you some important information on how you can directly help reduce the cost and improve the efficiency of our sewer system, as well as your private septic systems. The goal of this communication is to reduce the amount of grease and other materials that go into your drains. We will be showing two short and very informative videos that were produced by the Spokane Wastewater Department on these subjects. They total 10 minutes in length, so please stay with us for them both. The first six minute video focuses on the effect of items that are claimed to be flushable, but should never be put into your wastewater system, sewer or septic. Getting rid of human waste has never been easier. As soon as a toilet is flushed, your waste is gone. Human waste will then travel through pipes and end up at the wastewater treatment facility. However, when a clog occurs, everything backs up and things can get messy. As the population grows and more flushable items come on the market, clogs are becoming more prevalent. To ensure that the pipes in your home don't clog or back up, Pre-treatment technician Tracy Stevens put on the white lab coat and is going to teach us a little bit about the science of sewage. So we're going to do um, a bit of an experiment now. We're going to take various things that um, I would like to convince you not to put down in the toilet, but you'd probably be uh, more likely to not put it down if you see what it does rather than just listening to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, put these various um, types of tissue in here and then we'll turn it on and we'll watch how quickly they fall apart or don't fall apart. So we have our one ply tissue, three ply, regular little toilet paper here from here at the plant, plush toilet paper that one of my colleagues brought in from home. Thank you, Alyssa. Um, one brand of flushable wipes and the other brand of flushable wipes. And we'll turn this on and see what happens. The regular toilet paper is designed to fall apart and while um, as we saw the plush toilet paper will eventually fall apart it really is more its marketing is that it's going to um, be soft and strong and if it's nice and strong and quilted it's going to take a lot more to get it to break up. The findings? Both toilet papers flushed and broke down like they were supposed to. However when it came to the facial tissue it's just not designed to go down the toilet. Toilet paper is specifically designed to fall apart when you flush it and tissue, facial tissue is designed to not fall apart when you blow your nose in it. So as you can see, it's not falling apart. And the wipes? What you're seeing is not much. They've been spinning for, what, one or two minutes now and they're, um, they're completely intact. I think perhaps what you're seeing in the cloudiness and flushable wipe A um, is some lotion that's coming off of it. So this has certainly been agitated as much as it would have been if it had gone through your toilet flush and they're still completely whole. And I want him to just to demonstrate a few other things that people very frequently will flush that they shouldn't. So I have some uh, dental floss here, that's about how much I use. So we'll plop that one in here, Q-tips for ear swabs. We'll put two because most people have two ears. And then we have some feminine hygiene products here. We have a um, panty liner and uh, we have a tampon. Okay, and one final thing, I'm gonna put a couple Q-tips and some dental floss into this uh, number five here. Let's just see what happens there. In this first jar, we have dental floss and um, no surprise, it's not dissolving but it is wrapping itself around the propeller shaft, which it will do in any kind of pump and anything that spins. Um, in the next one, we have Q-tips, and they do look like they might be falling apart a little bit, um, but they several times have already jammed it and made it stop running, and we'll come back to that. I bet it'll jam up in another minute here. This is a panty liner, and it's just swimming. It's not really doing anything at all. Off to the next one, this is a tampon, and as you can see, it's jammed itself between the propeller and the side of the beaker, and it's stopped the blade. 
And in number five, we have the Q-tips and dental floss. And the dental floss um, has tied the Q-tips to the propeller and anything else that was in there with, the, with that um, dental floss would uh, be tied to the propeller as well. If you come back here to the uh, Q-tips, um, you see that they've jammed up that blade and they can't, it can't spin anymore. As you can see, none of these items have broken down. Don't flush them. Toilet paper, that's it. Toilet paper and what comes out of you. Everything else, put it in the garbage can. Cat owners take heed. This flushable kitty litter has been in the spin test for four hours. And not only does it not dissolve, but... Uh, I just emptied out the flushable kitty litter after it had been stirring for several hours. And as you can see, it doesn't dissolve. The um, brown that you saw in the water, that was just some of the dust that was in it. But um, it essentially is the same sand that it was when it went in. And that means that if you've already flushed this flushable kitty litter, it might not have ever left the pipes under your home. If these things get caught up in your pipes, which are quite a bit smaller than our pipes, um, it can cause a clog and you can get your sewer backed up into your basement and you really don't want that. And then of course, once it gets to the lift station, if it jams up in the pumps, the pumps will stop and then your whole neighborhood can back up. While a product may be marketed as flushable, it might not actually be safe for the pipes under your home. If you define flushable as yes, it will go down the toilet, then um, everything here is flushable. Uh, if you define it as whether it will make it to the treatment plant, then um, you know all of these things could eventually make it to the treatment plant. And you know maybe one time out of ten or one time out of twenty, they they don't. And with hundreds of thousands of people out there flushing these things down, one out of ten, one out of a hundred, one out of a thousand, they're going to cause trouble. Ultimately, the only thing that should ever get flushed down your toilet is human waste and toilet paper. Anything else could cause backups in the system and headaches for you. For more information about our wastewater system, log on to SpokaneWastewater.org. Hello again. If a picture is worth a thousand words, I hope you took a book's worth of information from this excellent video. To belabor the key point, nothing but toilet paper and human waste should be put into your drains. Before we show the next three minute video, I want to help you understand why this is so important to all of us. Lunenburg is a beautiful community with rolling hills and wonderful view sheds. The downside is that all of the hills and valleys that make our town so beautiful also force the existing sewer system to bring the sewerage down by gravity to several points where it has to be pumped uphill to get to the next area and eventually to Lemister or Fitchburg where the wastewater is eventually processed. For our relatively small system, we currently have 10 complex and expensive pump stations to operate and maintain. To put this in perspective, the entire town of Fitchburg has only two pump stations to maintain. In some cases, the wastewater from a single household in Lunenburg must pass through as many as five of these pump stations before leaving Lunenburg. The single biggest operating cost to our customers is maintenance and emergency callouts for these 10 pump stations, and the biggest cause of these issues and downtime are pump issues related to foreign matter and grease that people put into the system. This could also be the case for private septic systems, as many are designed with integrated pumps. Now our next video focuses on grease and how it can adversely affect wastewater systems, sewer, and even worse, septic. It is only three minutes long, so please stay with us for this and a very few final words, I promise. Out of sight, out of mind. That's how we generally treat what goes down the drain. However, what we don't know can hurt us. What we may have dumped down the drain months ago may have never left. It's so easy to say, think out of sight, out of mind, but things don't actually go away. There is no away. If this all seems a little cloudy, let's clear up the fog. The fog, which is fats, oils, and grease. Those things that we tend to put down the sink with a lot of hot water and soap and think that they're gonna be gone, well, they're not yeah. gone. They, uh, they get cold very quickly in the pipes. Ultimately, the best way to keep your pipes flowing freely is to recognize what fog is 
and how to dispose of it properly. So things like sour cream, dips, mayonnaise, salad dressings, um, dairy products such as ice cream, cottage cheese, other cheeses, they're very high in fat and um, they'll do what every other kind of fat does when you get it down your drain. They'll clog up your pipes. Cooking oil also should not go down the drain because any kind of oil, if it gets cold enough, is going to be solid and can also combine with other chemicals um, in the sewer system to cause um, clogs. And if you have a garbage disposal, feel free to use it, but consider going green. By placing your food scraps in your clean green waste bin or in your home compost pile, you'll keep your drains clear of any obstructions. Some foods are greasy by nature. The best thing to do with the grease that's left behind is to wipe it up and dispose of it in your garbage. Leftover cooking oil should either be mixed with an absorbent like coffee grounds or kitty litter and disposed of in your garbage. Fog doesn't just originate in the kitchen, but in your bathroom as well. When it comes to what gets flushed down your toilet, it's really pretty simple. Toilet paper and human waste. That's it. Um, there are a lot of companies right now that are advertising things as flushable. And you gotta take that with a big old grain of salt because wipes are causing clogs all over the country. They get into the, uh, the pumps, in the pump stations, um, and they clog those pumps up and they bring everything to a screeching halt. And even though the texture is similar, you don't even want to flush, flush facial tissue. These things really aren't designed to come apart. If you look at toilet paper when you mix it with water, put it in a jar, shake it up, it just fragments. You do that with a paper towel. I mean, they advertise the paper towels don't come apart, right? Well, it's the same thing in that when you blow your nose, it doesn't fall apart in your hand with the tissue. Um, those are the things you don't want to put down your toilet. Fog is the number one cause of sewer backups nationwide. So when it comes to the pipes under your home, remember. The sewer system, which is what takes the waste from your house to our plant um, was designed really only for water and human waste and toilet paper. Anything else can block up the, uh, the sewer system, can get caught in pumps. For more information about FOG and the Wastewater Management Department, log on to SpokaneWastewater.org. I want to thank you very much for your interest and for watching this broadcast. I hope you found it as informative as I did, and I hope that it will help you help us bring down the sewer system operating cost and improve its reliability so we can better serve you. Please pass the word. Thanks again to the team at Lunenburg PAC and the efforts of all of the sewer commissioners, past and present. If you have any questions or would like to give us any feedback, you can reach us by the following contact information or visit our website. Thank you.